guys and welcome to this 10 minute mobility and pre-workout routine. Coming into all fours, we're going to work into those wrists. So placing the wrists down, just gently moving forwards and backwards, opening up the wrists. We're going to do this a couple of times just to really warm up the wrists before we move the wrists outwards. So just take a few nice deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Take the fingertips out to the side towards the mat, moving side to side. Often we do just ignore those wrists and then we start to get that pain into the wrist. So it's really important we open it up. Bring the fingertips towards the knees, gently moving forwards and back. Now you may find you're very restricted in this movement, so don't push it and do not overstretch. From here, coming up to seated, interlace the fingertips and place the thumbs together. This is to ensure we're moving into the fingers and rather than into the actual heels of the hands. Bring the arms up to the sky, opening up for rotation through the shoulders and rotating the shoulders back to come into our chest and shoulder stretch. Inhale, opening up the chest. Exhale, bringing the hands back in front of you. From here, we're going to open up the back. With this extension and flexion of the spine, we really want to think about moving through the whole of the spine. As you exhale, bringing the back up to the sky, you're tucking the pelvis under, and as you inhale, you draw the chest through the arms. We're doing this fairly rapidly to create some warmth into the bones. So keep moving through, inhaling and exhaling as you work through this movement. From here, side to side, we're gonna move into the hips. Now you can hold this stretch for a little bit longer if that feels good for you, really opening up into those IT band, the TFL, and just really opening up the hips in general. So if they're feeling a bit tight, this is a great stretch. Breathing in and out as we move side to side. From here, tucking the toes underneath you, take the arms out in front, finding a nice long stretch through the body. And then coming forward, we're going to start to move into the hips, opening up the frontal plane of the body. Inhale, draw the body forward, sinking the hips down slightly, almost like a three-quarter plank. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. So continue with this just to really find that movement and opening into the joints. And then we're going to start to bring the body all the way forward and we're going to start to sink those hips down. So release the toes, sink the hips down. Now, if your restriction in mobility in the hips, just bend into the elbows a little bit here. That's absolutely fine. Otherwise, straightening out, opening up the hips. Sink the body all the way back, coming into a bit of a child's pose here before we start to roll down through the spine, opening up the vertebra as we bring the arms behind us. Take a nice deep breath in and then grab hold of your right leg, extending the left leg forward, just finding an opening there and coming into the hamstrings, moving through the ankles, mobilizing those ankles. Nice deep breaths in and out before returning to the other side. Switch sides, so we're coming to this other side, opening up the hamstring, pressing the heel up to the sky and finding those nice little rotations. Only go as far as feels comfortable for you, of course. From here, bring both the right leg across the left leg and we're going to take that glute stretch or figure of four. So we're drawing the thigh in towards us, relax the shoulders down to the ground. And as you work with the breath, as you exhale, you might draw the leg back in towards you a little bit further. You can utilize the right uh, leg to really press out. And then from here, we're going to take a little spinal stretch and really opening up into the hips. So this is a lovely one for opening up the torso, opening up the hips, before returning to centre and coming into the other side for our glute stretch. Again, keep the leg that is crossed, the foot should be flexed. And then again, as you work with the breath, you're going to draw the leg in. When you come to exhale, you release the leg and you're going to cross over to the other side, finding that torso twist on the other side, opening up the hips really finding some space in the chest with those cactus arms so it's another lovely breath work here working into those hips from here take the feet down to the ground and then we're going to bring the feet in towards each other with knees out to the side i'll show you from the rear position as well so from here you can see we're drawing the knees open you're going to feel a nice stretch into those inner thighs into those hips and then take a nice deep breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna release, taking the hands behind the thighs, and we're gonna rock and roll a couple of times here. So just really giving the spine a little massage, getting that cerebral fluid moving, and coming up to a seated squat, and coming into that nice little functional squat here. So I'm gonna show you from the side and from the front here. And this is just really opening up the hips, 
opening up into the thighs, ankles, and if you've got balance there, by all means, let's move into it and really find a little bit more movement moving up through the torso as well. You can start to mobilize into the knees and the ankles and the hips here by dropping the knees down. Not only do this if it feels comfortable for you, of course, if this is too much, please don't do it. From here, sitting down into your squat, taking the arms out in front, we're going to take the right arm behind us and then take the left arm all the way and over behind us. We're kind of finding this really nice little torso stretch, opening up the side body before switching to the other side. So we're really sort of stretching up and over. Inhaling and exhaling, release back to center. Take a nice deep breath in, step forward with the right foot into a nice low lunge. So really opening up into those hip flexors and taking a couple of bounces to really work into the myofascial tissue, releasing into this area here for you and then reach up with the right arm, opening up for the torso, into the spine and then bring those hands back down into a lizard. So we're just heel toeing the foot out the edge of the mat and sinking down. Now, if you find when you're in this position, that you would prefer to drop the knee down, please by all means do. You can also open up the knee out to the side, finding a deeper stretch into the hip flexors. And as you see, this is the version with the knee down. Bring the hands back in, and then let's take it a little bit deeper. Now, there's a few modifications here you can take, maybe taking the right hand down, maybe just bringing it back into that sort of very low lunge that you had before. Some people will find that this lizard stretch is a little bit difficult to get into, so please don't worry if you can't get there. Bring it back up and we're going to switch sides. So stepping back and switching out into the other side. Take your time, don't worry if you need to sort of hoik that foot up to the top there, that's absolutely fine. Nice little bounces here, opening up into the hips, opening up the body. Deep breath in and then opening up a little deeper. And as you see, I'm going to roll that leg out. So taking it across and bringing the arm back up. Again, you could sink that back knee down if that feels more comfortable for you. Not a problem at all. From here, reaching up tall, we're going to bring the hands back down for that lovely little lizard stretch. So coming all the way down, finding that nice deep stretch. Again, you can modify with the arms, whatever feels good here for you. Breathe deeply, opening up the knee if that feels good as well. And then from here, bringing the hands back in, deep breath in, step it back. And then we're going to come down into our windmill. So to start off with, we're just going to literally side do wipers side to side, bringing the knees side to side. Now you can use your hands because I know sometimes that sort of mobilization can feel quite difficult. But if you've got the balance there and you can work into it, you can really get quite a nice little massage for those glutes as well as moving those hips. Start to use your hands if you need to, to bring yourself up onto your shin, releasing the groin and the hips. And again, if you have the strength there and you feel confident, you can roll up without the use of the hands and bring yourself up nice and tall. Deep breath in as you lift up and exhale as you release down. Good, deep breath in and exhale. Bring it through one last time and we're going to come all the way down and then this is where we take those windmills and we're bringing it down as though modified uh, for like pigeon. So we're taking the arms over the front shin and this is going to help to release those glutes and thighs so it should feel a really nice stretch here. Again, you may not come as low as me, that is not important. You might just have hands out in front of you, making sure that we're squaring off the legs as we bring ourselves over and take a nice deep breath here. You could also use some blocks or books if that makes it a little bit more comfortable for you, not a problem. Deep breath in, and then we're gonna come up to rise, up onto the toes and opening up the toes and the sole as well as the Achilles. So giving it a really good stretch. Now, for those who are new to this, you may want to release the feet sooner than I do in this, but entirely up to you. Opening up the back, almost the version of the cat cow we did earlier, opening up the back and the chest, just finding that stretch, really releasing the shoulders down the back. Don't have the shoulders hunched by your ears, okay? You want to be really releasing down. Exhaling and inhaling as you rise up. Take the hands back in front of you, give those feet a little pat if you need to, just to release the toes. And now we're gonna walk the hands back, coming into the top of the foot. Now I'm showing you the full version of opening up into the chest and shoulders. Now if you do, again, struggle coming into the back of the foot or you're a little bit unconfident, just take your time with this. Maybe again, taking some blocks by the side of you. Inhale, and as you exhale, release, come down into traditional child's pose. 
really just releasing any remaining tension in shoulders and back. And I hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care.